Hello and welcome to LARPRIDE. A short video today about a personal grievance of mine. If I make something out of leather or cloth, it will usually last a very long time. Not so much LARP weapons made out of foam and paint. After about a year of hard use, they look something like that. So, the paint is coming off in quite a few places, especially at the handle here, because it is quite a small handle. And my friend who used this uh, rubbed with his sweaty hands over this, and that's really not good for the paint. And uh, made this last year, and this year I can make it again. I will try to salvage this. I will try to peel off all of the paint and paint it again and then hopefully it's good for another one or two or years but eventually um, they will get like this um, the use of this X has made the head loose the bottom fell off or these knives have been used for a few years and the foam is just coming apart exposing the core beneath and that kind of makes me sad. It's like I'm producing a lot of garbage, actually. Uh, this won't last. Uh, and eventually it has to be made anew or thrown away. Since I put a lot of time into these weapons, uh, it kind of makes me sad. But uh, I also always have the mindset of recycling, of repurposing things. And this video is kind of about that as well. I don't have to throw everything away. I don't have to put these weapons uh, in the bin quite as they are. If it's only the paint coming off, I can try just ripping the paint off and painting it again. Maybe I have to do a bit of regrinding. Maybe I can salvage the sword with uh, as much, as little work as possible. And even with these hard cases where there is only the core left, I can rip off all the foam. I'll be left with a core with a bit of glue on it. Then I can grind that down till I have a perfectly usable core once more. These fiberglass rods I use for course will last quite a while. Uh, normal use practically indestructible. So uh, there's really no reason not to reuse them. But they are also uh, one of the less expensive parts of the weapon. It's like 450 for a 1 meter core. So you're not gaining that much. I really love to find a way to make these weapons last much longer, but I haven't found one yet. As soon as I will, I make a video about it, I'm sure. Uh, if you have any idea, any knowledge, how to make these weapons more robust while still being just as safe, please let me know. That's it for today. Thanks and goodbye.